So daylight savings time was this weekend. So it's dark outside again and um, technically it would be 5.45 and not 6.45. I would just be waking up. I'm so tired. Who isn't tired after daylight savings time though? At least Bowser was like dead for a while to the world. So I didn't have to let him out right when I woke up this morning, which is good. Today's a neat day. So for breakfast, I will have a tortilla and peanut butter and I brought a yogurt too I might eat. Um, I also brought hummus, so I think I'm gonna get some pita chips for a snack sometime today because I've become addicted to pita chips, I've realized. <laughs> and then for lunch, I brought stuff to make a sandwich. Bread, turkey, cheese, and some mayo, and I brought the leftover um, flaming Hot Ruffle Chips. So that'll be lunch. I think that's it. Oh, I did bring an apple. Don't know when I'll eat that today. I might eat that with breakfast, though. More than likely. For dinner, I think I'm gonna make Parmesan encrusted chicken. I think that's what it's called, but it's basically mayo and Parmesan cheese on top of chicken, and it's so freaking good. It's one of my favorite meals. So I think I'm gonna do that with some chicken thighs and some veggies. Um, don't really have a lot to eat at home right now. I didn't want to go to the grocery store before a trip just because I didn't want anything to go bad. Um, I could get like frozen stuff and things like that, but I don't really feel like there's a point. And I have stuff at home that I can make meals with. So this week the meals are going to be kind of different, I think. They're going to be kind of thrown together. Um, not really anything exciting on the whole meal department, I'm pretty sure, but whatever. Anyway, I'm going to go get to work. I will talk to you guys when I get home. What is up, guys? I am home, as you can see. I am going to make dinner because I'm starving. The bad thing about losing weight with this method that I do is that as I lose weight, my calorie count goes down and I have to adjust it and then I have to eat less calories to maintain what I'm doing. And so in that, I can't eat as much, which sucks because I am so hungry. So I'm gonna make dinner now. It's about 5.15, it'll take a little bit of time anyway. I've already snacked on some animal crackers. Um, and uh, I'm gonna try to get dinner done as quickly as possible. For lunch, I ended up doing the sandwich that I talked about. I didn't eat the ruffles and I got pita chips and ate some hummus, so um, that kind of saved me a little bit. I did end up eating the yogurt with my breakfast, so I had a banana yogurt and the tortilla peanut butter roll up. So I think I need to find foods more heavy in fibers. Um, those muffins that I had made a couple weeks ago were perfect for that. They kept me full almost until lunchtime, so I need to make some of those, I think, because they were very dense and and pretty low in calories. So I think I'm gonna make some more of those eventually um, when I get back from Colorado or something. Anyway, I'm gonna make dinner and I will let you know what it is after I make it because it's one of my absolute favorite recipes and I'm super excited. Could be an issue because it's not the lowest in calories, but um, I don't have any other food to cook right now. So I'm gonna do that and I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. All right guys, this is what I made. It's Parmesan encrusted chicken. It is mayo and Parmesan with a little bit of mozzarella on top of chicken thighs. And then I made a vegetable melody that is freaking amazing. I'm super excited to dig into this. Um, if you see the camera moving, it's because my legs jumping up and down, just looking at it and practically drooling. So I'm gonna get to it, eat my dinner, and I'll check back in with you guys before bedtime. So it's time for bed. I am going to wash my face and do that because it's almost nine and I'm tired, which is I guess technically eight if daylight savings time wouldn't happen, which is about the time I go to bed anyway, so yeah. Dinner turned out really good as always. I really love that recipe. It's just unfortunate that the calories are a little higher on it. Um, maybe if I made it with something besides the chicken thigh and the chicken breast, I could have a bigger portion, but it's okay. Um, I actually was pretty full because I had that in the California a veggie melody as well which is 30 calories per serving and there's four servings in that bag that I made and I had two of them so 60 calories for veggies and then afterwards I ate the leftover red bell pepper that um, I had bought last week and I knew it needed to be eaten I'm trying to clean up my fridge of stuff before I go to Colorado which probably won't happen but I'm gonna try <laughs> I am gonna go wash my face and get ready for bed Nothing really exciting happened tonight except I watched a couple episodes of Supernatural. I'm really behind all the seasons, so gotta get caught up, you know? <laughs> I will talk to you guys in the morning. It was so damn hard to get up this morning. I almost didn't come in. No, I would've come in. I am so tired. Tuesdays are worse than Mondays, especially after daylight savings time. Today's a fasting day, so we'll be eating. I'm gonna get to the work. Not too much to do, my computer's kinda acting weird right now. So I gotta wait for someone to fix that. Yay Tuesdays.
two more days until I can get on the road and on my way to Colorado. I was on the phone with my mom when I got here, so I was not able to vlog as soon as I got home. It's about five o'clock now and I'm getting ready to head out again. Ian and I are gonna go to a backpacking basics um, class over at the REI for our trip. Um, just kind of a little whatnot. I don't know what to call it. Just a little, not even a refresher because we've done it before. So it'll be an interesting experience. Tomorrow we have one for hiking, I believe. So um, hopefully tonight's goes well. And if it does, then hopefully tomorrow's will be at least different information or something. Um, I don't really know the difference between backpacking and hiking. So um, hiking might just be a day thing. Backpacking might be a whole weekend thing. So I am going to leave to go to that. Um, I did have a buy water today. Um, well, it was a carbonated pineapple drink from the vending machine at work. Um, but yeah, that's all the calories I've had was that. So um, I'm going to get through the rest of the day without eating because I won't be here. I wish I had hot chocolate, but I drank my last one a couple days ago, so that ain't gonna happen. Anyways, I will talk to you guys when I get home. It'll be late. I'll be exhausted because I'll have to shower too. It's gonna be a long night, so I will see you guys in a little bit. I am home. I am tired, and I need to shower still. It's about 9.15, so I'm gonna get to that so I can go to bed, but... Yeah, that's really it. The backpacking um, basics training was okay. It was pretty common sense though, so Ian didn't really learn a lot. To me, it just kind of all sounded like stuff that he told me in the past, but I didn't really learn much either. Just a little bit here and there. Some things I was curious about, like the um, stove, camping stove, stuff like that, like the lightweight version versus the heavier version, and stuff like that. I'm sure he'll correct me later because I said heavier version than lightweight. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Anyway, I am going to shower and go to bed because tomorrow is going to be my last working day of the week. And I'm super excited. So, I'm going to try to get through that day as quickly as possible. I'll talk to you guys in the morning. What's up? Good morning, everybody, on this fine, freezing, cold Wednesday. It's supposed to be like 60-something today, like 66, I think. So, that's a plus, but right now it's cold. For breakfast, I brought... A vegan burrito. I've never had it before, so it's kind of interesting. Um, I don't know what's all in it, so I will try to take a picture of it later and show you guys what all's in it. I know tofu is like one of the main ingredients, but everything's vegan, so it's 290 calories for the burrito. I got it at Walmart. I can't remember what it's called. Like I said, I'll try to remember to take a picture, but we all know how great my memory is at things like that. For lunch, I brought leftover encrusted chicken parmesan with veggies, and I also brought some carrots and an apple today for a snack if I decide I need to eat more. I kind of don't feel very well right now, though, so I might not eat anything else. Um, for dinner tonight, Ian and I were going to go to Chipotle, and I was going to get tacos, but I don't know if we're going to do that anymore. So, anyway, I will talk to you guys in a little bit. I'm going to go get to it. My weekend begins and I'm so freaking happy. Today went by a lot faster than yesterday, surprisingly. I thought that it would go by super slow, but the last hour was the longest one, which is normal, of course, on any day. So yeah, super exciting. Um, I'm home now and I'm going to get to cleaning and packing and organizing and stuff here. And then tomorrow I'm gonna be going over to my mom's, hanging out with my brother, cleaning my car and doing the very last minute things that I need to do. Um, so that is really what the next few days are going to bring. I'm actually going to do a little something different this week and vlog through tomorrow too on this vlog. Just because I want to put Colorado all on one vlog. So that'll be um, Friday through Monday on the next vlog. And then I'll kind of pick up, you know, where I left off or whatever. I don't know. I'll figure out how I'm going to do it though. Anyway, yeah, that is um, what I'm doing right now. Um, for dinner, I think I'm going to make bang bang tofu because I have some tofu and I have no idea how to make it But I found a recipe that looks really interesting and good. So I'm gonna try that um, For lunch, I ended up having the leftover chicken and veggies like I planned for breakfast the vegan burrito and between breakfast and lunch I ended up having a carrot because I needed something else I felt like I was hungry and I tried really hard not to be but in the water wasn't making me stop. So I had a carrot 
And then I wasn't going to eat anything else because my coworker's birthday was today. So I know that they brought her a strawberry cake and somebody brought German chocolate brownies and a German chocolate cake. And I wasn't going to eat anything else because I wanted to at least have one of those. And um, one of my coworkers gave me some little snacks for the car and I wanted to try them. And I had four of them and they were 140 calories per bite. So um, kind of evened out the cake in a way, but I ended up eating cake and brownie anyway. So I don't have too much calories left for the day. Um, I haven't looked at what, how much I've walked yet, so that'll kind of even things out. But um, yeah, so I am gonna make these tofu bites. They're pretty low in calorie, or should be because it's tofu. My mom used to always call tofu toe jam. I don't, I don't wanna think about that though. I'm gonna get to it and I'll talk to you guys more than likely before bed. Here it is. Bang, bang, tofu. I'm gonna see how it is and I'll let you guys know sometime later tonight. Well, the bang, bang, tofu tasted pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I was pretty pleased with the recipe. However, it does have more calories than I knew of originally. Um, I did change it by using light mayo instead of regular mayo. Um, so I kind of think that helped cut down a little bit more on the calories, but still. I'm, uh, you know, beating myself up over that like everything else because I didn't have that many calories left for dinner. I ended up going over my calorie count a little bit and then I added in the steps that I had for the day and it brought me back down under by like two. But I kind of played around with the food that I ate today um, thinking, oh, well, maybe I put in too much here and maybe I put in too much there and basically just doing whatever I can. So I kind of feel like I cheated, but um, I'm pretty sure pretty positive I stayed under my TDEE at least and that's the most important thing that's what I want to stay under more than the calorie count regardless um, I do try to stay at my calorie count though I always feel so bad though when I do that um, whenever I go over or whatever so yeah I am tired so I'm gonna go wash my face and go to bed I don't have to wake up early tomorrow and I'm so excited because that ain't happening like I said, I'm gonna vlog tomorrow and add it into this one too so I can vlog all of Colorado in one vlog. Besides that, I'm gonna go ahead and go to bed. I'll talk to you guys in the morning. I'm still really tired, even though I slept until eight, which is weird to me. That chomping you hear is Bowser eating, having his morning breakfast. I'm about to have mine of coffee and water because it is a fasting thing. Um, I have a couple things I need to do here before I leave for my mom's. I am gonna drink my coffee, watch an episode of Supernatural, and uh, get to it. That is really the exciting morning I have planned for myself. Um, I'll take you guys with me to my mom's and maybe vlog a little bit with my brother or something. Don't know. We'll see. Today has not been my best day. I cut my finger open so freaking deep. Kind of afraid I'm gonna need stitches. And I'll give you the whole story as to how this happened. I went over to my mom's, like I said, and uh, we went to Walmart with my grandma to get her some groceries and stuff. And um, before we left, I decided I was gonna go ahead and clean the trash out of my car since whenever I got home, I wanted to vacuum it out and um, wash it for the trip tomorrow. So um, I was cleaning out the trash from under my seat. I had like a couple receipts and some stuff, I guess. And I opened my palm, this little red dot right here, and um, it was like, well, great, because there's still glass in my car from when I was in my accident back in January. I haven't had time to vacuum it out yet just because it's been so cold, and um, they should have vacuumed it out whenever my windows were busted out, but whatever. Anyway, so I got that first cut at my mom's with a piece of glass, and then we went to Walmart and everything, like I said. Came home, dropped my grandma off, went back to my mom's for a few minutes, and came home and automatically went to the car wash. So I washed my car and I pulled up to the cleaners, the vacuum cleaners to um, vacuum out my car. And I closed my door and I went to my trunk to open it and went pop open. So I was like, okay, well I gotta go unlock my car. You know, like I usually, this is what happens. Whenever I get out of my car, I don't lock it. I use my keys to lock my car. And my driver's door doesn't lock, just my other doors do, plus my trunk. So I was like, okay, I gotta go and lock it. And I went to open my door and my car was locked and my keys were laying in my seat. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? So I went to talk to somebody at the car wash and they let me log into Facebook so I could message Ian really quick. And he came and brought me um, my 
spare set of keys and I felt bad because he didn't have everything packed for the trip tomorrow so it was basically a trip out of the way for him and that makes me feel terrible so he brought me my keys left okay cool so I vacuum out as much as my car as up to this point that's where I slice my finger open and I was cleaning a certain section um, but by the window there's like a little crease and as I took the rag and I wiped it I did not know there was a piece of glass in there and it sliced my finger open so freaking deep and it would not stop bleeding I didn't even get the rest of my car cleaned out um, I left kind of my driver's side I got my back seat done basically but my driver's side area is not vacuumed out and I know I have more glass on that side so hopefully nothing else like this happens since I've already cut myself twice today so yeah not my day I got home I cleaned it put a band-aid on it was starting to make cookies and realized that it was still bleeding so I just replaced it with another bandage and I hope this one will stick I got some DS born on there I cleaned it with hydrogen peroxide um, washed it you know all that good stuff so yeah deep cut it sucks ass I don't know how I'm gonna shower tonight I'm gonna need more knuckle bandages but yeah so now I'm making cookies Ian will be over soon I'm in an irritated mood I'm going to continue baking. Well, I'm still alive, as you guys can see. The finger's still attached. I started bleeding again, though, when I was in the shower. So, geeks, it's cut really deep. I'm not going to freak you guys out by showing it to you, though. Um, so, this evening, after Ian got here, um, we ran over to Walmart and got a couple more things for the end of the night. And then we showered, and we're getting ready to go to bed. It is almost 10 now. I made these energy bites with peanut butter, oats, honey, and chocolate chips for tomorrow. So I'm excited to try those. And I made cookies and we have a bunch of chips and stuff we're bringing to for the trip there, for all being there and for the way back. Hopefully it'll last a long, it should. It's a lot of stuff, it's this whole bag full. Lots of stuff. Anyways, I knew I had to go ahead and close out this week's vlog, so. Thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it. This next vlog should be pretty interesting with Colorado, or so I hope. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys, and I will catch you on the next vlog.